Surveillance video shows the runaway rail car moving through the city of Utica. Then, you can see it rolling towards the Utica train station, crashing into an antique locomotive on display as a crowd waits on a platform just feet away. This was a, a bomb going through the city that could have taken, taken multiple lives and millions of dollars worth of uh, property. Utica police believe a 13-year-old set the train car loose. They have not been charged, and police say they did not mean to let it roll freely through the city. Oneida County Executive Anthony Pacente believes the emergency response and cleanup will cost more than a million dollars. He wants the railway line and Federal Railroad Administration to put better standards in place for securing parked rail cars like the one that was set free. Why wasn't it locked down better? Why wasn't it secured? Why weren't there uh, wheel chucks or something that would hold that car in place if something like that happened? Police say the closest no trespassing sign to where the train car was set free was more than a mile away. And Oneida County lawmakers say the railway has not been willing to talk about any improvements in rail car security. We called the NYSW railway line that owns the tracks this morning, and we have not heard back. Any regulation that allows a car to get loose and run through the heart of a city, there's something seriously wrong with that regulation. The county hopes that starting on Monday, they'll be able to begin the process of removing the train cars from the building. For now, reporting from Utica, I'm Alex Dunbar.